So we have been asked, what are the impacts of hormonal contraception? So I have a personal experience with this and it wasn't the best. So uh, I think now that I've educated myself on what's going on, it's really important to educate my athletes and people I work with. So we need to remember that we have estrogen receptors all around our body. So they're in our hair, they're in our skin, our eyes, our nails, every single system. And so when you're taking a hormonal contraception that's flowing around your body, such as like high dose progestin, the Depo Provera, or an oral contraceptive, it's going to affect every system. Yeah. And it's not just estrogen, it's progesterone, because like the Depo is progestin. And when we're looking at the side effects, knowing that it's between 300 and 500 times the the effect on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. When we're looking at these different formulations, we forget that, well, I should say, it's not educated of how it's going to affect no, the body. Not when at all. Looking at hormonal contraception from an oral contraceptive pill, it's down-regulating your own endocrine system. So when we're looking at that, people think they have a period, but it's a withdrawal bleed. And it's not a true indication of what's happening from endocrine health. Mm -hmm. We see a higher incidence of stress fractures and, and stress reactions in a lot of athletes, female athletes that have been on an oral contraceptive pill for a long period of time because the estrogen component in a combined oral contraceptive pill is not protective as if you're going to use transdermal or your natural estrogen. So there are a lot of things in it that people are not really aware of. So when we're talking about hormonal contraception, you have to have a really good discussion with someone who's in the know. And I get frustrated sometimes where we see in the like the regular medical community that OCs are given out like Skittles to young girls because they have irregular periods when they're younger, but that's completely normal. Yeah. And it can be uh, irregular for two to three years after they start. So we need to like kind of take that step back from the medication aspect and say, okay, what's, what's happening? Do I need an oral contraceptive pill for health reasons? Of course, if you're looking for contraception, that's a completely different story. You have to find out what is the best method for your lifestyle. But when we're talking about other conditions, you have to take a step back because there are different types of HCs that can work for things like endometriosis or PCOS, which is different from someone who might be having some irregular bleed, heavy bleed or light bleed. So you have to have that discussion with your physician or actually a physician who's in the know to be able to make that choice appropriate for you.